Mina, Ton Benoit, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Yes, I indeed did get a haircut. Yes, some of the videos after this are going to have me with still the long, bushy hair because I hadn't trimmed it just yet at the time of those recordings. Not that any of that has to do with the Bible, but just kind of stating the obvious why, because why not? Coming at you with Nehemiah chapter 7. Now, this is another one of those boring parts of the Bible because it's a huge list of names and people and numbers and why should we care and not only that but it is a repeat of Ezra according to my notes here Ezra chapter 2 verses 1 through 70 so not only is it a long long list we just read this list like one or two weeks ago if you're reading a chapter a day in the Bible so why the heck bother with this boring stuff well there I'm gonna give you one specific or not I'm gonna give you one answer to this one section here and it's, it's gonna have a few points why are genealogies important first let's read Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 5 then my God put it into my heart to gather the nobles the rulers and the people that they might be registered by genealogy and I found a register of the genealogy of those who had come up in the first return and found written in it and then Ezra 2 1 through 70 not verbatim, it's worded a little bit differently, but the names, the contents, pretty much identical. Now, genealogies were actually important because they wanted to know, the Jews needed to know which tribe did they come from. This was important for the sake of primarily the priesthood and also the Levites. You don't want anyone being a priest who's not a son of Aaron. You don't want anyone serving at the tabernacle or the temple under these circumstances. The tabernacle was gone a few hundred years before this, unless they are a Levite. And that goes down to verse 64. Same chapter. These sought their listing among those who were registered by genealogy, but it was not found. Therefore, they were excluded from the priesthood as defiled. They could not be a part of the priesthood if they didn't have the proper lineage. So, because, and that was a God-ordained thing. He's the one who said, sons of Aaron will be priests. They're, the tribe they come from, the Levites, they will minister to their brethren, the sons of Aaron, the priests. And since that was a God-ordained thing, that made it important. So genealogy was important at least for that reason, to know... And also, the, I'll say that was reason number one. And also, point number two, all 12 tribes of Israel had specific parts of land in the nation. So to know where your home was, and by the way, also in the law of Moses, it was considered a crime. It was actually against the law, a sin, of course, since this was God's law, to move the landmark of a home. And what that basically did was it identified a particular plot of land with a particular family from Israel. So based on your family, a lot of your land ownership rights were tied into your family name. Um, what was sold, what was traded, those things all tied into your genealogy. So to know like what part of the land was yours what you had right to, it had to do with genealogy. We do things differently nowadays. Do I prefer the way we do it nowadays? Just, you know, buy whatever property you have the money to afford. I do prefer it. I do like it. I'll say the one downfall to our side is the way if someone was excessively rich and they just wanted to buy a ton of land, who could stop them? Who could say no to them? Whereas with the old method, with the landmarks, you could not just dominate and take over someone else's land. They, there had to, I, I forget the exact rules, but there had to be some kind of rights. You couldn't just buy it. You, could, I, you, you had the ability to sell your land as you wished, but there were also some limitations there. And my, again, my knowledge of those verses and those particular aspects of ancient Hebrew culture, at this moment, they fail me. I apologize. Google is your friend, so feel free to look that up yourself. So, so I like the way we do it today better. I really do. Most people who are that rich, they, they, they get the land they want, maybe buy an island to themselves, and then they devote the rest of their money to, you know, obtaining political power, um, political favors, etc., etc. So that was another thing that they did back in the day. You had to have your genealogy to know what land was yours. And number three, 
this became particularly important in the New Testament, um, the Messiah was to come through the tribe of Judah and specifically through the lineage of David. So my God, my Savior, Jesus, his genealogy was very important. He had to come from he had to come from the line of Abraham, which means he, he was going to be a Jew. He had to come from the tribe of Judah, and Judah was the son of Jacob, who later changed his name, or God changed his name to Israel. And then from Judah came forth King David, who was promised that there would be an heir through him <clears throat> that would rule forever. So Abraham, and of course, even before that, number four, uh, either, either one, <laughs> the, God promised to Eve that her seed would crush the serpent's head. So a human would do that, and then Abraham, and then Judah, and then David, and then eventually it came down to Jesus. So, and even five right there even though five's an odd number. So I don't know why I'm a little bit uh, distracted tonight, but anyway. So Jesus, God in the flesh, forgives all of us our sins, guarantees all of us eternal life in heaven. Pretty important. And that was tied into a genealogy. A lot of the prophetic promises were looked at and viewed and foretold via genealogy. So for those three reasons, genealogy is actually quite important. So even though it tends to bore us and we don't like it a whole lot, God's opinion is a little bit different from ours. And since he's God and he's smarter than us, we should defer our opinions in deference to him. Because again, he's smarter than us. He knows a lot more than we do. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.